so I met my ex-husband when I was 28, I believe 29, and I thought, oh, he's too old for me, but um, I went out on a blind date with him, and um, he was cordial, and he took us out to dinner at a nice restaurant. Anyway, time, you know, a few days went by, and he sent me roses in the mail, so that was kind of cool. I was a single mom and easy manipulated. Um, he told me he owned a house, which to me means that it's in the clear, you know, that, that he was stable and he owned a boat. Um, anyway, so he also said he was divorced, which he wasn't divorced. So basically he manipulated me. I'm not sure, maybe just to get me in bed, but I think his then there was this girl that got involved that I just barely knew and she said you guys should get married and so she manipulated him to get jealous over a guy that I was dating or not dating she actually didn't have a guy but she made one up and uh, I can't you know it's a little fuzzy but um he wanted to get married and I said well okay I guess you know you seem nice and my daughter needs a father and you have the money. If, if we were to get divorced, he could support us either way, you know, get us an apartment or something if it doesn't work out. And um, so I pretty much based my decisions on the things that he told me about himself, which were not true. And he manipulated me, my life and my daughter's life to be part of his life. And then I found out later on he was an alcoholic, he was in debt, he didn't own a house, and he didn't really own a boat. He, it was him and four friends owned a pontoon boat to party on. And he probably couldn't have even afforded the, ga the gasoline for the boat. Um, he did have credit, you know, over a number of years of, of working. And so he could put things on credit. Um, but being manipulated can uh, can drive you a little crazy, you know, especially when you had your third baby and you're off your medication for bipolar and you find out that he's co-signed a $30,000 loan for a car for his son who just graduated college but doesn't even have a job yet. And our money was so tight, you know, penny to penny. Um, we had taken and we had taken a lot of his uh, retirement to put down on a house. So he was spending his retirement, which he couldn't afford to do. And his ex-wife had taken a hundred thousand of it, so he had about two hundred thousand retirement. But his his ex-wife got half of that. So money was—I never would have signed up for something that I would be stressed out about money. Money with bipolar, because that's not a good combination. So what I signed up for was um, physical stability. And and I thought, well, you know if the marriage doesn't work out we can try it and, and if not you know he can get me a, an apartment or a small house with the kids I was young you know and I really wanted my daughter to have a father so I was manipulated part and he knows that cause he's a salesman and he knew that I wanted a father for my daughter so that's what he was going to be and um We were planning a little small wedding because I got pregnant and I asked him, I said, if you don't want to have this right now, we were already engaged. We'd gone out shopping for an engagement ring with my daughter, but he wasn't divorced. I didn't know that. Why would I go shopping for an engagement ring if he's not divorced? Um, so yeah, manipulation can drive you a little crazy. And I just saw a movie called um, The Diplomat. Not a movie, it's a TV show. And her husband, the one of the, the lead actress, her husband manipulates and lies to her. And I think the third or fourth um, episode, she attacks him because he lied to her about something ten years ago that she just found out about. And manip she, he's manipulative of her, and he manipulates her career to be what he wants in his life. So he manipulates her, and it reminded me of the time that Jerry. Uh, told me about the $30,000 loan and, and I lost my my being. I, I, I lost everything. I lost my mind. I, I, I lost my body. I couldn't control myself. I got so angry. And um, anyway, this is just to let you know I 
I learned from that relationship. You know, I really did. He, the alcoholism and the lying was, uh, it's hard to do on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, if you don't see the person but once a year, you're like, I don't care. But when you have to get up every morning and look at that person in the eyes and they can't look at you because they're not telling you the truth, then you don't have a partnership. And with children, it's important to have a partnership. It's important to dance and love and, you know, make mistakes. But lying and manipulating all the time is not a mistake. It's a psychosis.